Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Defeated. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave in trap and driven mad murderers, cannibals, eating human flesh until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in.
This is gonna be the way. so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Wait, wait, what? There was this, this thing, whatever it was. M -M, you can relax. Joshua's messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh God, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And... And then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh, God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? 
I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Yeah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh. I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? 
How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. We need to hurry, son. I, uh, I'll see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, but it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal, or human. Well, you mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. If these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they can be cured or. <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Josh, he can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then.
forget it. so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and. Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird 
how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing, oh no, it just no, it, it no, bit no, me no. and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said so, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're- you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't do that! I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. This guy's a little OCD.
There's a lot of history to this. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does it say? It says that the bites It's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. Sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. to me because of your choices people have died i don't know which is worse actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else remember last year huh are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them?
They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. Something even worse than death itself.